What's up guys, Clumsy here, and 9 months ago I made a video about a clipping software called Outplayed, but this is no longer the best option and it actually never was. OBS Replay Buffer is so much better and I will be guiding you through every setting to make sure you fully understand and hopefully start clipping your favorite gaming moments. If this video helps you, please consider subscribing and leaving a like on this video. I don't want to stretch out this video for too long, so I'm going to assume that you already have or know how to download OBS. If not, I'm going to leave a link in the description of the video, should be the first link you see, and the download process is very simple. Valorant is mainly a CPU based game, that's one thing that's very important to know. If you have a decent graphics card, you will want to use that instead of your CPU, but don't worry, I'm going to explain everything in just a couple of minutes. Let's take this step by step. First step is to add a source. Simply go down to sources, right click and click add. You want to add a game capture, not a display because you don't want to clip any application or anything that you have opened. You just want to clip the game. For the mode, select capture specific window and click OK for now. Once you open the game, let's say Valorant, then you will see the option over here to select the application. Head over to settings, output and make sure output mode is advanced. Move over to the recording tab, make sure to select the file where you want your clips to be safe to. Recording format, I personally use MP4, but I don't recommend it because like it says here, recording saves to MP4 or MOV will be unrecoverable if your OBS or game crashes. Now the reason I still keep it on MP4 is because I hate the process of turning each file into MP4 after it's clipped and having duplicated clips. If your game crashes a lot or you know you have bad connection, then I would go with FLV or MKV. If you do decide on those formats, you will want to transform them into an MP4 file. Here's how you do it. Go to File, Remax Recording, select the clip and click Open. Then when you have a file selected over here, simply click Remax and it will begin the process. I would also recommend you to delete the original file after transforming it so you don't have duplicated clips, which can take up a lot of space on your hard drive. For audio tracks, you really only need two if you're just looking to clip, one for your mic and one for your game. You also want those to be separate in case you decide on editing each one after. I have six selected, but I really only have three audio tracks. For the encoder, if you have a NVIDIA GPU, I would recommend NVIDIA NVEC H.264 or H.264 for the AMD version. Now, you should try the GPU first, but you might lag and it might not be really good as you hoped. If that is the case, switch to X264, which is CPU encoding. It's easily the most accessible out of every encoding option in OBS because all modern processors are capable of using it at a certain level. Also, if you're playing a game like Valorant, it will have an impact on your FPS if your settings are too high. If you have an AMD GPU, I'm sorry to tell you that unless you have a high-end one, you probably will end up using X264, which is your CPU. Unfortunately, the only reason you should use this encoder, which I'm talking about the AMD GPU, is if your processor is too strained to handle the additional load of encoding. However, make sure to try both encoding options to see which works best for you in terms of quality and performance. Moving over to encoder settings, you have multiple options but the two we are going to be looking at is CBR and VBR. CBR is more reliable and consistent, whereas VBR puts more strain since it produces higher quality results. If you're watching this video, you most likely have a low-end PC so you will want to choose CBR to be on the safe side. But you can still try VBR, just at a lower bitrate setting. The amazing thing with OBS is that you have a lot of room to make adjustments, so you do not have to follow the exact settings I use here, and I don't recommend you do because I have a pretty strong PC. Now on the screen, I'm gonna have the recommendation for each quality and frame rate, so 20, 720p at 30fps, 60fps, 1080p at 30 and 60fps. You can pause the video right here to take a look and figure out which one you want to do, but most of you watching this video will want to start testing at this level right here. Try 1080p, but if you can't handle it, 720p at 60fps isn't really bad at all. Like I always say, test with each bitrate level and see how your PC performs. If you have trouble, lower your bitrate. If you have no trouble at all, either just keep it like that or test with higher settings. Keyframe interval, keep it at 0 seconds. Preset, again, this will depend on your PC specs. I recommend performance since it's not going to use as much resources and cause FPS drops and it doesn't look too bad at all. If your PC still is suffering, then go down to max performance, but if you're good, try quality and see how that goes. For the profile, keep it main or high. It's pretty straightforward. High will give you better quality. High is not compatible with all older devices, but most of you watching this video will be able to have your profile set on high, no problem. If not, just go to main to lessen the strain on your encoder, but don't ever drop down to base because that is just terrible, like it's very bad. Move over to audio, make sure each track is set to 320, then go to replay buffer. Check the box that says enable replay buffer and here is where you will select how long you want your clip to be. So in my case, I will clip the last 120 seconds or in other words 2 minutes. I play Valorant and I find that 2 minutes is perfect since some rounds can take longer than others. After you are done, head over to audio, make sure you have selected the right desktop audio and the mic that you are using. 
I use voice meter, which is like a way to separate and split multiple audio sources, but you don't have to worry about all that. Just make sure you have the proper devices selected so your audio actually works. Head over to video and keep base resolution and output resolution on 9 to 20 by 1080 and select common FPS values. Try 60 to begin. If that's too much, then try going to 50 since it will make it easier for your PC to handle, but it also won't ruin the smoothness of your video that much. You can add hotkeys if you'd like, and I really recommend you do, especially if you want to start the replay buffer or you want to stop it. And also make sure to um, have a keybind to save the replay so you don't always have to tab out, out of your game. Once you are done with everything, click apply, open your game that you want to clip, and don't forget to select the application that you want to record. You will see it here when you open up your game. There's one last final step, and that is to go and test. Keep an eye on your FPS as replay buffer is turned on. Check your clip quality. Is it smooth? Is it choppy, freezing, or lagging? Are you lagging hard in game? Are you experiencing frame drops? If that is the case, then you need to make some adjustments in the settings. If it's the clip that is awful, then it might be that your settings are too low, which is why the quality is so bad. But sometimes your settings can be too high, which is why the clip is freezing and choppy. If you're lagging too hard in game, then you will need to lower the quality of your recordings. And that is pretty much everything. I hope I have helped you. And if you have any questions, please leave it in the comments below. I'll be happy to answer any questions. I will also leave some useful links which will give you more information about OBS Studios, encoders and encoding settings, what each one does and how it affects your performance. Please consider subscribing, join the Discord and even leave a like to help the algorithm. All of my links will be in the description. Thank you for watching.